inside the home germany versus usa pretty sure this video is going to be about comparing homes with germany and usa and i'm gonna have my input being from the uk and stuff so that'll be cool before we do jump into this video make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button let's check out some homes Ooh, that's my favorite sitcom well that's just unrealistic that the characters always just walk in through the front door i mean how can they open it without a key Oh my god, now huh? they're climbing through the air vents. Let's do that too, that's the best prank. Oh, wait, we're in Germany, we can't do that. Why, you ask? Well, because German houses and American houses are pretty different. Right, right, at UK, at UK, guys. Hello, servus, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Felicia. I'm originally from Munich, Germany, but have been living here in Cincinnati, Ohio, on and off since 2016. Today, oh, wow. I'm going Long to take time. you on a little tour through German and American homes. For those of you who don't know this, the very first time I ever came to the US was in 2010, so 10 years ago, and it was for a high school exchange between the sister cities of Munich and Cincinnati. Uh, Students from different high schools were selected to participate in this and I got very lucky and together with one other German girl I stayed with an American family for two weeks here in Cincinnati. And when you arrive in a new country where you've never been before after such a long flight, you're you go and get takeaway. Totally overwhelmed by the whole situation. Uh. But I do remember that I noticed a lot of differences about the house that first night. Right. And since then, I've discovered many more things, of course. And I've been wanting to make a video about all of the differences on houses ever since I started this channel. But you know what? This is actually going to be cool for me to watch. Because I don't really know what Germany houses are like, right? I don't know how similar they will be to UK houses. And I kind of know a little bit about US houses, but we'll be learning a lot more in this video, sir. So. For some reason, I haven't yet, so here we go. Right. I made a list of 13 things that I'll go through in this video. And of course, every house and apartment is different, both in Germany and the US, and people can design it however they want and install sure. different features. But these are differences that you'll see when you compare the majority of German homes to the majority of American homes. Right, let's get it. Doors. Right when you enter the house, you'll notice a big difference, and that's the front door. Right. In Germany, they're usually a lot thicker than in the US, and okay. have a seal that makes them more soundproof, but also helps with insulation. And you'll find those seals at most doors inside the home as well in Germany. Right. The front doors that Same I've seen in the UK. US so far were rather thin compared to that, and never had a seal. Also. Oh wait. I think some homes in the UK have. Oh, wait, no, home. Wait, I don't even know. I think there's a good mix in the UK. Because some of our doors actually... In fact, most of our doors look like that. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. I kind of want to check my door right now, but I I'll check later. I'll check afterwards. <laughs> and this I'll put is in what I mentioned in the intro. In Germany, you won't find a doorknob or handle on the huh? outside of the front door. So even if the door is unlocked, How do you, open you it? won't be able to open it once it's shut unless you have the key. Which brings me to another point. Wait, that is the handle. Bro, that, that is, wait, <laughs> that's the handle. It's just big. <laughs> and that is that most of the locks I've seen here are a little different from the standard locks in Germany. Where uh -huh. I live here in the US, we have this kind of lock at the front door, but also inside on bedroom doors. The key is a little smaller and thinner than the ones in Germany. And for German locks, you they usually look like just Aki's. turn it around once or several times, depending on the lock, and then just pull out the key like that. But in the US, I found that you have to turn the key back before you can pull it out. And then in Germany, right. since there's no doorknob, you turn the key a little further and push the door open at the same time. While in the US, you can just open it like a normal door once. You know what? To be fair, UK houses have a mix because my mom's house has a handle to go in, right? But my current house doesn't. So yeah, it's a, it's a good mix. It's unlocked. At least that's how it is for most doors. I know that for some doors in the US, you can also switch it to being locked automatically once you close it. Oh, that's cool. Then after you've entered, you'll notice the next difference right away. In Germany, the first place you find yourself when you enter a house or an apartment is usually the flur or diele, the Bleu. hallway or foyer. Right. That's usually where you take off your shoes 
which you should do in Germany, as I've mentioned in another video before. And from there, you'll get to the different rooms. In the US, you enter the home right into the living room in most cases. So like you open the door and you're already in the living room. The Germans among you probably know this from- Wait, the door is just straight into the- BAM! Straight in the living room. All right, interesting. In the UK, it's mainly into a hallway. American shows and movies, like if you just think of sitcoms like Full House or How I Met Your Mother or other sitcoms, there's never a hallway. Some places really? do have some kind of entrance area, but it's usually more open than a German Flur. In general, German homes tend to be a little less open than American homes. The trend That's is nice going home. more towards open rooms, but Traditionally, the hallway is its own room pretty much with doors to all the other rooms. So you're telling me in America you open a door and you straight into the living room? I'm pretty sure I've seen homes where that's not the case, but hey, I could be wrong. Like the kitchen has its own door and is its own room. The living room is its own room and so on. Well, in the US, it's pretty common that the kitchen, the living room and the dining area yeah, if there is one, are all open and pretty huh? much one big room. Really? Now let's get to heating Pretty cool and to, to be there. In Germany, it's very uncommon for normal houses and apartments to have air conditioning. We do have it at stores, some office buildings, Lucky. and definitely in our cars. But I don't think I've ever seen a German home with air conditioning. Oh, oh so I thought she said that Germany does have air con. I've been, I've been German. I thought Germany would because Germany gets hotter than the UK. How do we keep our places cool? Well, first of all, it doesn't get as hot and humid in Germany as it right. does in a lot of parts of the US. But in the summer, temperatures do go up to around 35 degrees Celsius. That's hot. It's helpful that our walls are a lot thicker and better insulated than they are at a lot of American homes. So the heat doesn't come inside as quickly. But besides that, we just suffer and use a combined strategy of fans. Opening. Yo, I'm telling you, there is nothing worse than being in like, even the UK, bro. UK in the summer with insulated houses made for the winter. When it get, when, bro, without an AC, when I get, when I actually buy a home, I'm definitely getting AC, like put it into the house. But bro, oh, it's so, oh, it's horrible. It's actually, you just die. You just, it's horrible, man. Our windows at night, and we'll get to the famous German windows in a so second. So jealous of ACs. And closing the curtains and blinds during the day. In the US, however, it's very common for a place to have central air conditioning which means that there's so a thermostat nice. somewhere and there will be these air vents that I mentioned in the intro and through those, the cold air will be blown into the different rooms. I'm actually and so winter, jealous. It's simply hot air instead. So that's the cooling system and the heating system at the same time, which also means that you won't see these things in the US a lot. In Germany, that's the main way of heating. Radiators, You'll yep. usually find these radiators in every room with an individual temperature control. I've seen a few of the- In the UK, we have them in every room as well. You can get those radiators, electric radiators. It, it don't matter. You, you, in every single UK home, you have radiators. These in American homes as well. But as I said, when there's central AC with air vents, those are usually used for both heating and cooling. And places ah. that don't have central AC often install these little window AC units. Oh, and I can get one of that. a few that. times before that Germans often think that Americans totally overdo the whole AC game and that it's often way too cold. And I'm going to make a whole video addressing this, but yes. Germans just aren't a big fan of having air blown into their rooms, while Americans seem to not be able to live without that. And that brings oh, me to I want the one next badly. point, and that is ceiling fans. These are also pretty I've seen them in, in ages. US, and I've never seen one in Germany, but I actually think they're awesome. Not every place in the US has- They're amazing until you jump on the bed, because my mom had one above the bed, but they don't have them anymore. Uh, you, you rarely see them in the UK anymore. But I, I remember jumping on my mom's bed and I actually hit my head on one and it really hurt. <laughs> so they're amazing until you do that. As these, but a lot of places do. They're usually connected to the ceiling light with their own on and off switch and they just help make the air circulate a little when it's hot. I love this, especially for working out at home and you don't have to have an extra fan in your room. Now, before yeah, no. we keep talking about the differences between homes, let's talk about what you can do at home for a second. And I think this year, most of us have realized that that's 
quite a long list and it's the same in germany and the us by the way right you can work from home you can work out you can teach from home you can hang out with your friends via facetime you can celebrate easter via zoom you can have meetings from home and so on and you can also learn a lot basically you never need to leave your house you're all good so i'm fine i don't i don't really leave that much i, I just kind of leave to like do food shops and stuff and that's about it <laughs> a lot of new skills at home and that's why i'd like to introduce today's sponsor skillshare really Quickly. Oh, right. I've That's why we was going. <laughs> just a reminder. And now let's get to windows. Windows. Famous German windows are very different to the ones you'll find in America. Why? Because here, all you can do is slide your window up and down. And they usually have a second slide thing that's a box screen, but that's really all you can do. And uh -huh. honestly, opening these windows doesn't get a lot of air inside. Like I often- Yeah, but you guys don't really need to open up your windows because every single house has ACs. I I'm, I'm guessing that's the main reason why you don't need to open your windows that much. Open up both windows in my rooms and there's still no air circulation really. German windows on the other hand are perfect for that. Germans are also pretty obsessed with Stoßlüften, but German windows are perfect because they usually have three different modes. You can huh? open them like a door, which lets a lot of air in. I you cool. can tilt them like this, which also lets some air in, or you can close them. And they also usually come <laughs> with a seal. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait. You can close windows? <laughs> no, my UK windows, I can't close. They won't close, man. Open them like a door, which lets a lot of air in. You can tilt them like this, <laughs> which also lets some air in, or you can close them. Oh, and that, they man. also usually come with a seal, just like the doors but they don't come with a box screen, which Americans like to complain about, but you can always install one. Like I always had one in front of my window as a kid. Wow, do you get a lot of bugs in Germany? Like in, in the UK, the only bugs that you need, really need to worry about is like bees and, um, and flies. So it's not really major. Like I always had one in front of my window as a kid. Blinds. What a lot of German windows do come with, though, are outdoor blinds or right. shutters. They're built into the wall and outdoor. you can close them from the inside like ah. this. And not only do they darken the room almost entirely, but they also help with the insulation part. Super Why are they outdoor? Handy, in my opinion. Sometimes they're also electric, like... Yo, what if somebody rubs your blinds? <laughs> What? Yo, what? I've never seen outdoor blinds. This one in my room, but at some windows, you'll also just find regular Yo. indoor blinds or curtains like you do in the US. Right, yeah, in the UK, it's indoor. This one is a pretty big one in everyday life. American homes usually have built-in closets. Oh, that'd be bedrooms. so nice. They can have different sizes. Some of them are walk-in closets, but the least you'll see is usually something like this. So you'll have- Yo, Americans, your homes are just so perfect. Man, I've seen some of your guys home. If you want to send me your houses, um, you can send them on Instagram and stuff. I've seen a bunch of your houses. I am so jealous. I'm so you have so much space, right? You got your clo uh, uh, walk-in closets. You just got so much room. Even like a basement. Oh, I would love to have like a gaming den in a bit. Oh, it'd be so good. The UK homes are just tiny. It's just cramped, tiny. Horrible, man. A door that looks just like a normal room door, and then there's shelves and a clothing rack inside, and they're not taking up any space in your actual room usually because they're built into the wall. This so is nice. usually one of the most shocking realizations for Americans, but those are not a thing in Germany. Our bedrooms are usually just empty rooms when we move in, yep. no built-in closet, so you'll have to buy a wardrobe. A lot of them yep. are just standalone pieces of furniture in your room, but some people also invest in a built-in wardrobe that's fitted exactly into your room. I used to have oh, one of yo. those in my bedroom in Germany under the roof. Yeah, I know a few people that's got built-in wardrobes. They're pretty good. I, I just have standard like wardrobes you just put on the wall. Light switches, doorknobs, and outlets. This is a small one, but when walking through the house, you'll notice that light switches are different as well. Uh -huh. In the US, most light switches look like this, while in Germany, they're usually much right. bigger and are either one that you can tilt oh my God. or that you can press. They're also massive! I UK light switches is you can kind of... Oh, you can't really see it. Um, I don't want to move the camera because... Hold on, if I do this... Give me a second, boom. You can see right there. You see it? Right there? And it's just got like a little switch. You just press. It kind of looks like the American one, but it's more like flatter kind of. 
and a little bit thicker. But yeah. Well, doors in the US usually have door knobs throughout the house, while in Germany we mainly have door handles. Yeah, we got handles. Some places in the US do have handles as well, but when they do, the handles usually feel very different than the ones in Germany. So How it's come? not the same handles. The, the, they look very the, different than the ones in Germany. Why? How do they feel? How, <laughs> they're not the same. How do, how do they feel? They just, how does how does right? Do they turn like differently? <laughs> so it's not the same handles. Outlets, right? Um, UK is like this, but with a number line here. Oh my god! I, I didn't realize this actually looks like this. It looks like a shocked face. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's move into the bathroom. If you've seen my video about peeing differences, you know that I mentioned how different bathrooms are and that I'm going to dedicate a whole video to that topic. So I'll uh -huh. just mention a few things in this one. One big one is that in a lot of older homes in Germany, the bathroom light switch is on the outside of the bathroom. This used to be a safety regulation in Germany back uh -huh. in the day, and you'll still see this a lot, but it's super annoying, really. Not only because you'll have to remember to switch the light on before before you go in, but also because people mess with you. And oh, wait, you know what? The only time I've ever, ha I've remembered now. I, I don't know how I forgot. The only time I've ever had a light switch on the outside of the bathroom was in my last apartment place. I don't know why they did it. It's the weirdest thing ever. It's the only place ever. Where I'm at right now is inside. Where I've always lived, it's always been inside. Yeah, sometimes I'd be in the shower, and my, <laughs> my girlfriend would just randomly just turn off the light switch just to like troll me, right? Bro, it's the most annoying thing of all time. Because <laughs> I don't know well, I don't know why. Who thought, yo, let's have light switches outside? What? And to turn the light so off while you're inside. Now, inside the bathrooms, let's talk about showers for a second. In the US, most showers I've seen so far in homes, but also in hotels, and whether it's a bathtub with a shower or just a shower, right. have a fixed shower head. You yep. can usually adjust the angle a little, but you can't oh. move it, which coming from Germany, I find super annoying. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's fully fixed, like, non movable at all? Huh? But why are you too tall? Why are you too tall, too small, too, like, what? Because you can't get water to all parts of the tub yeah, or shower, get that. which especially sucks if you want to clean it. I suppose you can like do this, like you like stretching. Wow, that's weird though. In Germany, we usually have a handheld shower yeah. head that's detachable, which that's I personally have. just think is much more practical because you can take the water wherever you need it, basically. And if you don't want to get your hair wet, you can move it down quite a bit too. And then- Wait, how would you wash your ass? Do you like have to like, just like, like bend in the shower with your ass upwards? <laughs> You see, we can just take the handle off and just, you know, just go under. One other difference of many in the bathroom is the toilets. American toilets, in a lot of cases, not every toilet, but a lot of them, have a lot of water in the bowl, so it's very high, while in Germany, it's usually really low. Yeah, Some I've old seen German this quite a few times. Shelf like this in the toilet, <laughs> which seems to be one of the most popular topics to huh? talk about in the comments. This in the toilet, Germany, it's usually really low. Wait, 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 wait. okay. So, so America, like the water in, in your toilet bowl is, is, is a little bit trippy because, like, what if you're, um, like, men? What if you, what if it, like, does it dangle into the wall like it have, has a little bath or something? And uh, the splashback would be kind of crazy with that. I'm not going to lie. But, uh, because I normally like putting tissue at the bottom here. So there's no splashback at all, right? See, this, you're screwed. It's just all water. Some old German toilets also have a shelf like this in the- Bro, what is a shelf? So, so like, let's say you're having a number two. It's just gonna like slip and slide. <laughs> That's gross. Toilet, which seems to be one of the most popular <laughs> topics to talk about in the comments, but that's really not all that common anymore. That's and American so toilets weird. also usually have this old fashioned toilet tank and a flushing lever like this. 
I've seen this I've seen a bunch of them. new homes. Well, in Germany, we oftentimes have a button to flush right. and lots of toilets have a big and a small one, depending on how much water you need to flush. But UK is kind of like, it's still 50-50, the handle, the button. Yeah. But also in modern German bathrooms, you often don't even see the toilet tank anymore because it's built into the wall and oh, all no you way. see is a push button in the wall to flush. Oh, that's one cool. last difference in the bathroom that I want to mention in this video is that I feel like even in newer bathrooms in the US, you hardly ever see just one faucet handle to control the temperature at the sink. They're called Mischbatterie in German and are very common in Germany, but in the US Wait. you usually have a separate hot water and cold water handle. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, no. Everyone was saying UK has two se separate taps. We don't have that no more. We did for some weird reason ages ago, like years and years and years ago, but we only have one now. We kind of, yeah, we just have one hand. Some places do have this though, but I thought America just had the one, not the two. Interesting. So once again, it seems a little more old fashioned than in Germany. Moving into the kitchen, one big difference is the fridge. American fridges are usually much bigger than German oh, wow. ones, just like a lot of things are bigger in the US. A lot of them have a water and ice dispenser oh, like I this, want one of them. and oftentimes they have a separate door for the freezer. Sometimes it's right. also just like a big thing on top of the fridge. German fridges- To be fair, my fridge is pretty, it, it, it's kind of similar to that. It's that big. One, one door for the freezer, one door for the fridge is really big as well. It's definitely bigger than this. But a lot of fridges in the UK are like this as well. You, you, you basically got the option to choose. Don't have a dispenser like that. They're smaller and the freezer is either a little part inside the fridge or it's underneath it. And That's it small. usually comes with drawers, which I've only seen a couple of times in the US. One yeah, thing that I find normal. super handy in the US is the garbage disposal. A lot of kitchens have one, oh, and it's is like good. a grinder built into the sink. I mean, I don't put waste in there on purpose, but if food leftovers have found their way That's into so the drain good. and it's clogging up, I do find it practical that you can just turn on the garbage disposal and the problem is solved. And one more thing. Yeah, I'd be scared that one day I'd like be washing the ass and then got garbage disposal in my hand. I wonder if that's ever happened. Oh, yo, that's horrible, bro. One mention about kitchens is the stove. In Germany, most stoves are regular electric stoves nice. or induction stoves nowadays, which do exist in the US, but I had a lot of stoves apartment. here are either electric coil stoves I got that gas now. Stoves. That's actually the. Yeah, in my place now, I got a gas, but like, you, I'm finding out that like the UK is very 50 50, bro. We're going more towards electric, uh, electric uh, stoves right now. The most common one I've seen around here, and you hardly ever see that in Germany unless the owner is like a really passionate cook or it's a really old house. So right. that's quite interesting. Laundry. This one I just want to mention very briefly because in some German apartments you'll also find the washer in the kitchen. Yeah, which same is in UK. Because there's no space anywhere else in the place. You'll also often find it in the bathroom, and especially bathroom. in apartments, there's oftentimes no dryer. That's because Germans mainly air dry their clothes, which is why you'll definitely see drying racks like these in German homes. Bigger places usually do have a dryer, but we don't use that for our regular clothes. Alone. Lot. So laundry rooms usually always have drying racks or a clothesline rope set up. Right. When I first moved here for a longer period of time, I was really confused to find a washer and dryer in most places, but zero space to hang up my clothes. But Americans simply don't do that as much as we do in Germany. Well, wow, what you guys in America just use dryers? Yeah, same. I just wash and dry. Boom. One difference that you'll notice when you walk through a German or an American home is the floors. In American homes, you'll see a lot of carpet, which I love personally. Right. And in a lot of cases, it's this pretty thick, fluffy carpet too. You don't see that in German houses a lot. Most homes like don't have carpet at all. Instead, UK is very, it's a good mix between wood and carpet. Very good mix. We have tiles and wooden floors typically, but even tiles. when Americans have wooden floors, they're usually different than they are in Germany, where parquet is one of the most common floors, or the cheaper fake version laminate floor. In the US, the hardwood floors usually look a little different, like the structure is oh, wow. different, and they're usually much darker than parquet floor. And from what I understand, they're also made differently. 
Overall, I found that Americans have a preference for... What do you guys prefer? Let me know in the comments. Do you guys prefer carpet or wood? I prefer carpet. It keeps it ni nice and cozy. Darker wood in their floors and furniture. Well, Germans use lighter colored wood for a lot of that. Well, exterior. And last but not least, let's talk about the exterior really quick. This varies a lot in Germany and the US, of course. But when it comes to apartments, one main difference is that in Germany, we always have our full name outside on the doorbell, the mailbox, and what? the actual apartment door. Well, in the US, it's usually just an apartment number. and that's Yeah, in the UK, it's just a number. Why, bro, why would you want your full name just out there? It's part of your address. When it comes to houses, what? American houses often have the typical front yard and porch. Oh, and I love that house. Open, while in Germany, porches aren't really... Like, just look how big it is. I wouldn't have it, like, purple. Is that purple? But... Oh, I look so oh man i'm so jealous yo the uk house will be literally be this size right here boom a thing and we don't really have those big front yards either yeah. instead you'll see a lot of fences and hedges in germany yeah Things is that the uk aren't really open like they are in the us and overall we just have a lot less space in germany and yep, especially same. in a lot of german cities housing and just space in general is pretty expensive and people are glad to even have a balcony a yard is really a dream come so true, jealous man but then and when they do have one, a lot of yards, especially in cities, are right next to the neighbor's yard. It's pretty nice. Just to give you an idea, in Munich, which is one of the most expensive cities in Germany, so keep... Bro, it sounds like Germany has less space than the UK. How is that possible? <laughs> that in mind. But in Munich, I can maybe buy a tiny studio apartment for the same price that I can buy a nice house here in Cincinnati with a yard Mad. and a porch and everything. Of course, it's like that in the big American cities as well, but the whole density thing and space as luxury is just a little more common in germany man of i want to i want an american house so bad for differences that i could have mentioned here so if there's anything important that i missed feel free to share that in the comments below and i'd also like to know which of these features you'd like to have in your house oh oh pretty much it all <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'll tra I'll trade it in a hobby. But really good video, enjoyed that. If you guys want to send me your houses, you can do that on Instagram, LFWG underscore. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.